everyone, welcome to my channel and this is the Coding with Chandler series. And today's tutorial is going to be on how to create methods and invoke them into your class. And basically this should just give you a simple idea on how methods worked and what they are used for. So first let me explain what a method is. It's basically a function or behavior within your program. So for example, if you wanted a method that can add two integers together, basically you can just call this method and put in your two integers and the method will add them for you rather than you simply doing five plus four manually. This method will do that for you. That's basically what methods are. And I think the benefits of using methods is that um, prevents you from rewriting a bunch of code. You can easily just call a method and it'll do whatever you want for you instead of you having to type in a bunch of lines of code that will do all those things. So yeah, I think methods are neat. So first I'm just gonna show you guys the basic syntax of a method. We have public, static, and our method name. In this case, we're gonna be adding two integers. So I'm gonna call it add, and then it has to return an integer. Okay, so let me explain what I just typed out because you're probably looking at the screen like, what did you just do? So basically when you're creating a method, you need to state its, uh, its access modifier, I guess. It's um, whether it's public, whether it's private. Um, in this case, this is public, meaning that it can be accessed wherever in this class. It could be accessed outside of this class. Basically, it's available to everyone. And then we have the term static, which means that this is shared by this class. Anything non-static can't be called in this main method you would probably have to create an object for it. And then int is the data type that we're gonna be returning. So like I said, we're gonna be adding two integers. So you need to state what number that this method is going to be taking in and returning. So this is the return type. In our case, we're returning an integer because we're adding two integers together. So if you wanna return a decimal number, you would put double. If you wanted to return a character, you would put char. You get the idea. And then this right here is our method name. And in this case, we're adding two integers, so I decided to call it add. Um, this is a bit broad. Some people like to get in depth and call it add int or, you know, something more detailed, but this is a very basic uh, method. I don't need to go into detail on that. And then we have our return statement, and this is just going to return the value that is going to be, that's gonna hold the added integers. Um, this is red right now because I didn't put return anything. This has to return an integer and right now it's not returning anything. That's why that's red, but um, I'm gonna write out the code first and then return whatever we come up with. So like I said, this method is going to add two integers together. So we need to create parameters that will hold those integers that we place into this method. So I'm gonna call it int x and int y. You can label these as whatever you want. I can call it int add, int anything. Um, as long as you have two integer parameters, this method will be able to take in those integers and hold them. So if I call this method outside this class and put five and nine, five and nine will be held in X and Y. So basically long story short, a parameter just holds the values that we put into a method to be used. Because I wanna add X and Y, I'm gonna create another variable that will hold that value and call it int sum and I will set it equal to x plus y. Our solution is sum because it adds both of those values and all we have to do is return sum. And that's basically how you create a method that adds two integers together. You have the parameters it takes in and it adds them together and places it into this variable and then we return this variable which gives us our value. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to invoke this method to add two integers together. So I'm gonna create a print statement so that our answer is printed to the console so we can see it. Um, because this method is within the same class, we are gonna state the class name. And as you can see, the class name is main. So main and then dot add. That's how you are able to use the methods that are in the main class. And like I said, this holds two parameters. So if you think about it, what would you place in here? You would place the two numbers that you wanna to add together. So let's say I wanna add five plus five. I would put five and five. And now five and five are held into X and Y. And once we actually run this program, it'll print out this value because it's returning it. So let's run this. And we get 10 right here. You can place any values in here. It will do the exact same thing. Six plus 11 is 17 and it should return 17. We can also write another method that subtracts two integers. I'll 
call it sub, and it's going to return an integer value. I can create a local variable, call it subtract, call it anything you want, and it should be equal to y minus x, and this will return whatever y is minus x. So I can do 20 minus 10. Like I said, because we called this method, whatever is in this argument is going to be placed inside these values. So in this case, x would be equal to 10 and y would be equal to 20. And then we created a local variable called subtract and set it equal to y minus x, which in our case it is 20 minus 10, so it should return 10. So 17 and 10. So that is basically the main idea on what methods are used for. It's basically something to do a specific function for you rather than you typing out a bunch of lines of code. It's also great because all you have to do is type out, um, all you have to do is call the method instead of writing a bunch of code. So it makes your code more clean and it prevents you from writing redundant code. So if you have any questions, be sure to comment them below and I will answer as many questions as I can. Um, if you have any video suggestions or tutorial ideas that you think I should make, also let me know and I'll take that into consideration. You can add me on my social media, uh, my Instagram's Chandler Keys. You can also reach out to me to my email if you would like. If you have any questions, ChandlerKeys at Yahoo.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this with someone that you think that this would be helpful to. Thank you so much for watching.